and, and, and the beauty is, subhanallah, they have Tom and Jerry, and I love to talk about these two, because they're still going on. Do you know why they're going on? Have you ever seen Tom and Jerry really get along and one comes with tea to the other and one greets the other and they're sitting and doing something? No, they are fighting. One is, he spends his whole existence trying to do the other one down and that's exactly what our, our children have learned and when we grow up as adults 30, 40, we are doing the same with everyone else. We, it's so what was the problem with Tom and Jerry? Again, let's re listen to this one more time. Our children have learned, and when we grow up doing oh. something, no, they are fighting. One is so it's a fighting, okay? So Tom and Jerry are not getting along, and kids are growing up consuming Tom and Jerry. And the reason he's saying the reason why Tom and Jerry has survived this long as a cartoon, a lot of cartoons come and go, but one reason Tom and Jerry has survived is that there's a conflict, that there's always fighting. But there's also that means that the also kids are growing up, learning just constantly wanting to fight. So it's not just Tom and Jerry. They're basically saying like fighting in cartoons, the constant conflict is teaching kids growing up that conflict is a good thing. That we also have to we keep, we constantly have to defeat other people and put them down, and so, you know um, go farther by you know destroying our enemies. He spends his whole existence trying to do the other one down and that's exactly what our our children have learned and when we grow up as adults 30 40 we are doing the same with everyone else we it's a competition what you have no ways i'm not talking to you you've got more than me no i will make sure you come down and this is what's going on we are toms and jerry's may allah forgive us a'udhu billah it happens a'udhu bi shaitan a'udhu bi iblis you guys know where we're heading right come on you guys know Right? You guys know. We wanted to see he basically the entire message was what? The entire message was Tom and Jerry teaches kids what? We grew up with learning about conflict. Why did Tom and Jerry survive? Why did Tom and Jerry survive? Because they're always fighting. They have dedicated their entire life to one of them to fight the other one and destroy the other one. That's not what we want the kids to grow up with. We want them to grow up with Islam. Well, 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 well. Let's look at Islam. And let's look at the fighting that Islam encourages. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we, everyone? I have just a few examples here for you guys. Um but some of them are repetitive but i just wanted to show you how big like there's actually i just have a few but i actually could have picked among many 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 okay i just i just like i was just lazy i was like let me just go grab i know there's it just, just grab like just go grab a few because there's so much to choose i didn't even have to do much of research i was like ah let me go find some hadith just make sure it's Hadith Bukhari or Muslim, so it's Sahih. And I'm pretty sure I could just, if I, four seconds and five seconds of look, I could find something really horrific about the apostates or atheists or Christians or the J people. I'm not going to mention their name, the J people, because YouTube algorithm is moronic. And if I mention who the J people are, YouTube is going to think there's something fishy going on here, so I'm not going to mention them, okay? But let's say, let's see what, okay, let's see here, right? We have this one from Sahih Bukhari. Again, guys, Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih, this is authentic hadith. This is part of Islamic, Sunni Islamic canon for sure. Then nobody can deny that, okay? This is authoritative part of Islamic scripture. Anybody who says otherwise, could go, I can't say it because YouTube doesn't let me. All right, Sayyid Bukhari, you can see all the references here. I know I'm going to read it to you guys. If you want to go check it out, yeah, go check it out yourself, okay? Um, I'm going to read the important part. Ugh, should I read the whole thing? Okay, narrated that whenever I tell you a narration from my lost messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi by Allah, I would rather fall down from the sky than ascribe a false statement to him. But if I tell you something between me and you, not a hadith, then it was indeed a trick 
I may say things just to cheat my enemy. Know that I heard Allah's apostle saying, during the last days there will appear. Okay, so he's saying like this is to other people I'm going to lie, but this is Sahih Hadith. And again, this is marked as Sahih, okay? No doubt I heard apostles, uh, apostles saying, wait, wait, Allah's apostles just means Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, during the last days, there will appear some young, foolish people who will say the best words, but their faith will no, not go beyond their throats. I, they will have no faith and will go out from their religion. So it's talking about me here. People who left Islam, okay? Not apostates. Um, they will so out from um, leave their religion as an arrow goes out the game. So wherever you find them, what do you do to them? You invite them back to the zone? No, 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 no. So whenever wherever you find them, can I say this, YouTube? I don't think I can say this. I'm gonna say K them, K. So for K I L L, okay. This is again Islamic scripture. Um. I'm going to say K, 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 K them, okay? So you guys know what I'm talking about. So please don't blame me for YouTube. I don't know what, what the rules are, so I'm just going to say K. All right, so again, guys, this is not. So basically, people like me should be, I'm just going to say it. You know, screw YouTube, kill them, okay? For whoever kills them shall have reward on the day of resurrection, okay? So during the last days, basically, um, remember when Muslims say, by the way, you know when we say kill apostate, it's not about at that other time. It's about the time of the war when Muhammad was fighting people and this was treason. They were leaving. They were abandoning Muhammad at the time of war. This is about a specific situation at a specific time at the time of Muhammad. Why are you thinking? Why are you not reading this? In well, here it says that this is going to happen in the last of the, not at the time of Muhammad. You and this is wherever you find them, you kill them wherever ever okay so this is about a general position that this hadith has about people who leave their religion it's not a specific scenario it's wherever you find them and this is a, at the end of times not at the time of muhammad it's not about a specific situation at the time of muhammad okay so again this is what you do and it doesn't say any other reason other than the fact that they left their religion that's why you kill them apparently according to sahih so you know how tom and jerry how tom was so fighting with jerry okay i mean tom never killed jerry not that i know of okay not it was there any episodes that i missed but again so don't don't let kids seeing a cat follow a mouse around trying to do mischief. You give them something. That's too much conflict. Give them Islam where we tell them to go kill the people who disagree with them. Ha ha. Less conflicts for children. Let's go to the next studies. How about that? Okay. Again, this is, again, Bukhari. So anybody that denies that this is not part of Sunni Islamic canon, they could go. Screw themselves. Is that okay, YouTube? Can I say screw themselves? Is that okay? Um, some, how do you say this one? Suha, are you in the live chat? Suha speaks Arabic. Kowalski. Suha is our Kowalski. Okay, um, yeah, actually, I can read the Arabic version of it. Where is it? Is this it? Zan, Zanadakat. Zanadakat. Okay. That's what we are, atheists. Look, that's us. Zanadakat. Zanadakat. Zanadika. Zanadika. Okay. Zanadika. So some, some Zanadika, some Zanadika atheists, this is how you, whenever you speak, if, whenever you speak Arabic, if you're not feeling like your, your throat is coming out of your mouth, then you're not speaking Arabic. Um, some Zanadra atheists were brought to Ali. Uh, were brought to Ali and he burnt them. That guys, look at this. This this had this really escalates from zero to a hundred 
really, really fast. Okay, it doesn't even get you time. Like the last one, it was like, "Hey, there's this situation, and like there's this hadith, and this is gonna happen end of the time. And by the way, if people leave their religion, what you're gonna do? You have to find them and kill them wherever you are. This one just like jumps right into it. There was some atheists, but to Ali, he burned them. Boop. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Okay, so Ali. The brother of my atheists are like, hey, Ali, here's some atheists. I'm like, okay, let's roast them alive, I guess. Okay, all right. That's what you do with atheists. Um, thanks, Ali. Um, and then it continues. Guys, by the way, like, yeah, this is child-friendly. This is what you give children. You roast the atheists. You make barbecues out of atheists. Not Tom and Jerry. That is too hot. That's too much conflict for children. Do not let them grow up with having a cartoon cat chasing a mouse cat. Have them read this. You barbecue the atheist. That's what you do. Anyways, it continues. The news of this event. Oh, no, actually, this is wrong. Okay. The news of this event reached a boss who said, if I had been in his place, I would not have burned them. Oh, my guys, there's some pushback. No, this is right. This is not Islamic. You do not burn. You do. You can't just kill the atheist. Why? 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 Abbas, Abbas, tell us, Abbas, why wouldn't you do that? As Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa forbade it. Saying, do not punish anybody with, oh, do not punish. Oh my God, something humanist, something, something pushed back against what this is great. Do not punish anybody with Allah's punishment, fire. Oh, oh, fire is Allah's punishment because that happens in hell. So you shouldn't punish them with Allah's punishment. I would have killed them according to the statement of Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi. Whoever changed his Islamic religion didn't kill him. Hmm. Okay, so there's still some killing going. Oh no, guys. I were disappointed. I'm just I thought this is gonna go do not kill people just because they have other views. No, it says I just don't like your methods of killing them. It's the methods that they had the problem with. Oh, we do kill people for their lack of belief. But the methods are wrong. That's a lost punishment. You can't punish people with fire. Okay, so it's still killing. They're still killing, but not with fire. Okay, okay. Damn it. I thought this was turning getting be one of those good ones, but no, it's not. Okay. So the re- the next one is the same as the other five, but it's so vile, this one. Okay, because these ones, this is like, these were like, oh, this killed this person over here, that person over there. Now we're talking genocide. We're going up. This is this is escalating. We're escalating things to genocide levels. Okay, genocide, not like, oh, this guy did this, punish him. No, 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 no. We're going after the J's in mass, all of them. Genocide, Islamic genocide. Tom and Jerry, guys, Tom and Jerry, don't tell the. Don't teach the children. No, don't show. The, oh, too much. Girl. Pop culture is rotting, is poisoning the children's mind. The cat is changing, chasing the mouse. That is poison for children. No wonder why they have so much problems. That's not what you teach children. You teach them that all the J's. Again, I'm not going to say the J's because I'm pretty sure this is not a taboo for YouTube. You just read it off the screen. What you teach the kids is that all the J's should die at the end of time. Let's read the Hadith. Narrated by whoever, we don't care. I heard a lost messenger saying the J's will fight you and you will be given victory over them so that a stone will say, oh, Muslim, there's a J behind me. Kim, Kim. So basically what he's saying here is that at the end of times, okay, so this keeps repeating itself. Let's do another version. Okay, here's another way. Uh, you and the J's would fight against one another until the stone would say, Muslim, here's a J behind me. Come and kill him. Let's continue. There's another hadith. By the way, this one was Hadith Bukhari. Again, this is also Hadith. Oh, this is Hadith Muslim. Okay. Here's another Sahih Muslim. Um, 
Where is this one? No. Uh, there, oh, there is a J behind me. Yes. You will fight against the Jays and you will kill them until even a stone will say, come here, Muslim. There's a J hiding himself behind me. Kill him. Right? And here's the last one. The last. Okay. So this is the complete version of what's happening. Okay. This is the complete version. Okay. The last hour, basically the end of times, the end of times, okay? The last hour would not come unless the Muslims, okay, so this is a requirement. This is a requirement for the end of time. So it will not happen until the Muslims will fight against the Jays, the Jays, and the Muslims would kill them until the Jays would hide themselves behind a stone or a tree, and a stone or a tree would say, Muslim or servant of Allah, there's a J behind me. This, the rocks will speak out. The trees will speak out. They're like, there's a J hiding right behind me. Come and kill him. But the tree, oh, but there's one tree that is not going to say that. There's one tree, this mother effing tree is going to stay silent. This tree is... Gargad, Gargad, will not say for it is the tree of the jays. This type of j, <laughs> this is a j tree. This is a Zionist tree. Oh no, this tree is not gonna give up the jays. It's gonna, oh, it's kind of sad. I kind of feel bad for this tree. Like, oh, look at this poor jay hiding me. I, I'm not gonna give. Don't worry, you could hide here. I'm not gonna give you up to these evil people trying to kill you. You could hide here. You're one of my people. I didn't know we have J trees, okay? I didn't know that trees have ethnicities, but okay, okay. I guess this all makes sense if your mind is on Islam.